Rodney Dragons of his cereal, Birth of a Blood Worm. The Dragon Sorceress explained to me that the potion I was containing contained the essence of a stillborn blood worm. Some blood worms, when they died, acquired powers beyond that of mortal dragons, including teleportation, and dragonesses had used the potion for centuries to teleport back and forth as a hitchhiker to the teleporting blood worm. She cautioned me not to say any words when I drank the potion because a special spell had been made just for me, a human, and any words I said could affect the spell and destroy all the defaults. She led me to a booth where I could drink the potion and teleport away from my troubles. I gulped down the potion and then heard through the vents from the restaurant below the words, Bottoms up! And I could hear the audible crack as the spell broke and the blood worm inside me suddenly had powers which were not restricted. I could feel my clothing burn away as the liquid burnt through me. I could feel my chest expanding as my sex was rearranged. The blood worm, a stillborn one, was determined to make me its mother, and I could feel myself changing gender and species as the beast inside me began to suck inside me. My ribs began to collapse and shrink and I could feel the slimy tunnel pushing out through my vagina as I was transformed and pulled, teleporting into a new life. The last visage I remembered of my old mind was my tail twitching and my claw tails clasping away at an non-existent breast. When I came to, the blood worm had left me and had gone to whatever realm stillborn demon blood worms go to. I felt the urge to slide through the slimy tunnel I found myself in and propelled myself through my strong new body down into the tunnel, which, though I did not know it, was the birth canal of my mother, my human mother. I pushed in, determined to secure the nurturing, warm, slimy feeling of the uterus. In I went. Nine months later came the birth contractions as something tried to push me out. My eyes had been altered and I could see on all sides of me the tunnel that was pushing me, pushing me along towards my birth and emergence into the world. I was mad and angry and gnashed my teeth. My fangs, my fang-filled mouth sought blood and I thirsted for revenge. Out I came, my fangs wide open, ready for the warm blood that I knew lay outside the warm, slimy tunnel. At the same time, I felt like I was suffocating, like a hand was choking around my neck, keeping me from breathing. And nearby, I could smell the blood of a pig. Food, and I had still the strange sensation of love, attachment, need for my mother figure. I had changed completely. I was a newborn dragoness, a newborn bloodworm.